We got our third show on sale what? right now at the Gramercy Theater, Let's baby. Let's go. The Army of Garbage came correct in New York City. Sold out two shows. We added our third. Links in the description. Let's party, baby. Yeah. Friday, February 3rd. We'll see you there. See you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. <laughs> this is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they grow up to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She's upstairs, thank God, cleaning the place up. Okay. I'm tripping over catalytic converters up there. <laughs> okay. For God's sake. Uh -huh. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. This is what we call a good old-fashioned family episode. Yeah. So Circle in the wagons. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? My best pal, and I'll tell you this, not a bad-looking kid. Give it up for KJ, <laughs> Kevin James Ryan. That's the first time you ever said that. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True up. It's cooking. It's a good time. Closing on 110K over there. Muchy, muchy. And obviously, the greatest gosh darn tootin' website I done ever seen, www.patreon.com. Are you garbage? Check it out, gang. We got bonus episodes over there. We got episodes of Hard Feelings. The runaway hit of 2023, yeah. I've heard. Episodes of Hard Feelings. Uh, we got a bunch of bonus content on there. We got us on the road. We've been flying new guy Luke around the country with us. Wheels he's up. shooting vlog. Wheels up is the vlog. We got a new one dropping soon. Breakfast really? with the boys. Ooh, I cooked breakfast at? for everybody in Rhode Island. Oh, not too bad with the cheesy eggs. I'll tell you that, this kid. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's a good time over there on that Patreon. I and love it. You love it. <laughs> I just don't. Sorry. I think you swallowed your tongue finally <laughs> or, or it jumped out. <laughs> Finally made a run. It's sinus season. What do you want? Gang, how about a nice quick shout out to our producer? You got your permit? Gang, how about a nice quick <laughs> shout out to our producer extraordinaire? The magic man makes us all look good. Uh -huh. Works those ones and twos, crosses them T's and dots them I's. Give it up for Toby McMullen, everybody. Hey, what's up? What's there up, you go, T Bone? You got a big man fuzzer didn't even hit me with a nickname. Oh, uh, no. big. Yeah. I think it's feel, sinus season, apparently. Uh, yeah. That'll really jam you up. It's hard to get McScruffins out. It sounds like a <laughs> it sounds like a hunting season. You know it's sinus season, right? I'm all you're only allowed to keep two. <laughs> I got a sinus mount on the hood of my car. Skittle season, duck season. <laughs> I saw a bunch of deer streaming across the road. Uh, up there at Fort Washington as I was getting back on the turnpike. They're getting real. I was down there on Bucks as well. I was down outside the old Philadelphia area. Mm -hmm. They're getting, dude, that, and we got foxes. I yeah, we got I, fox too. Never seen them. Two foxes just walking through my backyard. Just like, a bunch of babes. <laughs> <laughs> I lower my glasses. I grumble. <laughs> Of, <laughs> I ain't talking about a couple of birds that go to the beauty school either. A couple of nine couple pieces. Of foxes. <laughs> that fox. girl's a fox. Oh, fox was all That's right. Somebody do that too. Woo, that girl's a fox. <laughs> Shake off the heat. My on. <laughs> Yikes. Just two girls in those old thong bikinis. <laughs> the hot, like the fucking golden arch. The old headphones on. Uh huh. With like the orange. They got the around. high socks up. They're doing aerobics. <laughs> What you looking at? Walking to get an orange Julius. <laughs> Hit you with that. Hey, Baldy, quit staring. <laughs> yeah, like you got a shot. <laughs> Hit you with one of those. Whatever. I have my... Um, <laughs> I've mentioned her before. Uh, I might have said... The it. fox that got away. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha, I still love you. <laughs> hey, it's good. No, our... <laughs> Talk about the fox and the hound. <laughs> Poon hound? Come on. <laughs> Also, too, this came up uh, a couple of days ago. I was talking to somebody. Um, what, great story. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, other day I was talking and uh, something came up. Uh, when someone says they're a hound dog, like he's a real hound dog. When who someone... says that? What were you talking to, a gumshoe? Who says that guy's a real hound dog? <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever said that, really. Except for Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> and he wasn't even a hound dog. <laughs> no, like no, he was nothing but a hound dog. When they, when they when they have a taste for the ladies, he's a bit of a hound dog. I don't know. I was talking to a buddy of mine 
about one of his older kids. Okay. One of his older kids. Of, and he's a bit of a hound dog. The kid's a bit of a hound dog. A poon hound. Those we call it when I, back when I was banging. A little bit. You guys are all poon He hound. uncovered some evidence that, you know, he's like, he's like, he's getting to that age now. Okay. He's like, hey, he's got a little hound dog in him. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, that's all right. Hey, see, there you go. Ridicule me. <laughs> anyway, um, the way the deer went across the road, I couldn't see them. And they, my dad always put the fear of God into me about those things. Basically, I feel like if one of those things hit your car, it's going to explode like a, like a drone strike. Mm-hmm. And I'm petrified of them, but would never want to hurt them. So whenever I see them on the side eating like a little grass or something, I beat the horn and slow down, hit the lights. But that no, you can't do the lights. You scare them. You freeze them. Man. And then they get real wired. You get that look. I had the same thing. I was driving home the other night. They're real nervous. They start shooting quick. Oh, man, they jumped the wrong way. They end up in the back seat. Fucking asking, asking for the aux cord. <laughs> ask you to put on some Drizzy Drake. Make a left on Cherry Street, fat boy. <laughs> I got a couple. Yeah, make of, good with them snacks. I got a couple of foxes over there waiting on them. Because <laughs> I'm a real hound dog. Um. Yeah, no, you get you gotta get. I've had them jump into the side of cars. A guy in my neighborhood it jumped through his front window, like the bay window, mm-hmm. and it causes a ruckus Wait, in the house. Wait, the, the the house? Yeah. Whoa, we had one jump in our school. <laughs> busted, was busted. A principal for a while too. <laughs> <laughs> Gym teacher <laughs> just put on a pair of glasses. <laughs> everybody, everybody started listening to you him. You see a deer around here? No, I did not. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> now pass me more berries, please. Um. Yeah, one. He's drinking a little cup of coffee in his <laughs> yeah. mouth. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, a little short sleeve shirt, a little tie. I pay, yeah, I picture yeah, yeah. like the Dilbert. He's yeah, rocking 100%, the Dilbert. 100%. 100%. Talking about He's the walking kid. on his hind legs down the hallway. <laughs> you kids get the class. That's Mr. Jenkins. He's new here. Just shitting behind him. Um, one busted through our busted through a window in our school and ran around, terrorized the school for a couple hours. And that's a that's a story. They came and got him. That's a st- who, the government. No, the the the, the cops. Yeah, he's, he's still serving a nickel for that. I hear. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell do you handcuff a deer? Got him in the girls' locker room. <laughs> little hound dog in him. <laughs> Got a little hound, hound deer in him. Um. <laughs> That, what are you going to say? That's saying that you're trash if a deer's ever run through your school? That's just, yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, new shit. Coming from those, I knew it then. Coming from those towns, like not this, that, that's folk. This, the story I told you about the guy who jumped through his window, that was about 48 years ago. And that's still, that's, watch out, they jumped through the Robertson's window. You know what I mean? You got to, those, those stories live on forever. Because not a lot happens down there. No. I remember when I was small towns. When I was a kid, they those used suburban to, towns. When I was a kid, they used to say if you got a spotlight, like one of those huge spotlights, and you drove out into the woods at night and you spotlighted it around, if they catch if they catch it in their eyes, they freeze. Yeah, like a, that's the saying, a deer in the headlights. Oh yeah, duh. That's why when they're running across the street, they catch it, they stop, and you. Oh man. Uh huh. Yikes. Anyway, um, I didn't hit anything. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Uh, I, if anybody has any punchlines, hey, <laughs> if anybody asked, I was home with you all night. <laughs> that story froze like a deer in a headlight. <laughs> um, I had something. Uh, what do you got? As you know, I've been uh, back and forth between here and uh, Denise's house the past couple, of, you know, mm-hmm. past week or so. Um, tending to some family things, and uh, I had the I've. The past two days, I've had to use my wife's toothbrush, and I, I, dude, I'd rather put on a grown man's underwear that he just had on. It's, it irks me. Wait, really? What? <laughs> You'd really rather have the underwear? I don't know. It's, That's crazy. It's yeah, but it's on. It's like that Seinfeld thing. It's a subatomic level. Things oh, are happening. Come on, that your I wife. Can't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You kiss her? Yeah. All right. Well, what's the difference? There's a difference. There's a there's a difference. T Bone, we just recently talked about this. Yeah, you kiss it, and it, it would be it would, the the equivalent isn't kissing. It would be like rubbing teeth. Yeah, which I don't mind, by the way, if it's I've weird. had enough drinks in me. Because <laughs> I use if it's my birthday, sure. I used my girls by accident. I'm sure she's thrilled about that. Well, no, I got her, I got her a new one, and the only thing that that <laughs> pull it out of your mouth, it's melted. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad for her. You know what I mean? 
I feel sure. like well, so you understand that there is a difference there. No, if you no, feel no. bad for her. But I didn't feel bad. I, I, didn't, I understand. I didn't care about using hers. I felt bad that she would have to use it after me. I understand. I'm the disgusting one. But there's the, I understand, but there's that still that if it's disgusting to somebody. But you got somebody, skeeved out by using hers. Anybody's. It's the thing. Yeah, it's but just your this, girl. It was also wet when I started. That's a tough one. Like she had used it and then I had, had to she use had just it. brushed her teeth. Yeah. Huh. I had to I do it this morning, too. Man, it was tough. I'd rather use Hans's. You need money for a One of those greenies or something. I've been moving around a lot. I've been we've been leaving them. Stop by a CVS, huh? I didn't realize it's always that thing. You know, I always forget. I'm, I'm out sure of, you stop somewhere for a sandwich. You could have stopped and got yourself. I got a them toothbrush. delivered. <laughs> Once fucking Colgate starts delivering and call me, dude. Right. You get a toothbrush. I get a toothbrush here in ten minutes. Please start that clock right now. Really? A toothbrush in ten minutes. You want me to do it? <laughs> Can you? May I could if I wanted to. In ten minutes. Within the normal time that seamless, I understand. That seamless can I understand. deliver, I understand. I understand. Seam, first of all, seamless doesn't deliver toothbrushes. Yeah, they do. From where? Seven Eleven. They'll get you one. Oh, maybe. Or like Uber Eats Uber or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. Or but that, no, that, hold that, on. You're missing the point. The point is, I only think. I always only think of toothpaste when I'm about to brush my teeth. Mm-hmm. That's why I always get jammed up. I run out of toothpaste, and it takes me like three days to be like, fuck. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting because that's not a problem when I'm out of the store of like, oh, yeah, I need a toothbrush. Plus you if can, I could you, solve that, you, you it would have been solved and I would have been in this position. You can always sneak through the door one more time with the toothpaste. Oh, that's I know. There's always, always a lid. Li- and then you're like, until there ain't. Then man, you're hemmed up. You got that little fucking prairie dog jumping yeah, out. You're like, you you giving it all your. You, you, gotta walk you stick the bristles in the <laughs> yeah. hole. Do a little digging you in there. You got to get in there. Really I still don't get why you skeeved out using your wife's toothbrush. Anybody's toothbrush. You remove the relationship. It's anybody's toothbrush. It's just, it's a device used to clean bacteria that you're then putting you in your mouth. You don't think that's bonding in what? a way? That's bonding in a way? Or what about when- I'm like, not saying it does, you, you rem- again, remove the relationship what about what about, what about when- uh, I mean, but you ha- hold on. When your parents- You've understood. You, the, the, the parents you, put the- You get disgusted for your wife or your girlfriend. But I'm disgusting. I, I know, but- She's not disgusting. Just stop for a second and understand. If the relationship works that way, then there is something to be disgusted about. You, your, your threshold for disgusting is just way higher than most people's. My threshold for disgusting? No. She's, your wife's attractive. I guarantee, that doesn't have to do with anything. In my head, it does. Yeah, if it's an attractive person, I'm okay with it. Okay. If they're gross like me, that's I felt bad for my girl. Sure. That she would have to use it after me. I had no problem using hers. I, I'd I, rub it in my face, stick it up my butt. Sure. You're yeah. mi- I th- to me, you're missing the point of if, it, if it's disgusting for one person, regardless of how disgusting you are, it's a tool used to clean, <laughs> which I'm going to go on record, <laughs> very. Um, I would say most people, let's do a, we're ready to do a poll, leave it in the comments. Most people, that's something they don't want to do. Not their significant other, though. I'm telling you, it probably is the case. I don't know. Buddy, you understand it for your girlfriend. How do you not see that it works one way and not Because the- I'm disgusting. I know, but I understand that. But I would feel most people. More and you're this- nothing to write home about either. Of course. And, she, and, and she's an attractive lady. What, what looks doesn't have anything to do with it. It does. Bone structure has nothing to do with bacteria in your mouth. I think it does. And what to please please relate that science because you're attracted to her. If you're attracted to her, what do you that should should almost turn you on a little bit? Okay, I think your rods and fucking you, no. you're 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 why you're a little miswired somewhere. I don't know. Maybe call me a crazy kid. I don't know. I guess I do see what you're saying. Yeah, but also at the same time, I feel like you got to understand where. Your threshold for disgust, you have boogers on you all the time. If it was my toothbrush that you used, I would completely understand that. Anywho, this is a goddamn family episode where we answer your questions on Patreon, gang. When you sign up for the Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. Mm-hmm. It's just the best way to do it. We mm-hmm. get a bunch of emails, Gmails, Zmails, the whole nine yards. But this is the best way to do it. Let's go. You ready, big feller? Hit me, cue ball. Strap in. What do you got? This is from Royal Lab TV. Never had one read. Is it garbage to have a fisheye mirror instead of an actual side view mirror due to an alleged hit and run? This guy's got a fisheye as a rear view mirror. That cannot be safe for emerging on highways. On the left? I, I don't know. A side view mirror. Okay. Mirror? I have the same information you have. A side view mirror. A rear view mirror. The side view mirrors. Right. 
You know how on, on Mack trucks they'll have like the circular one? Yeah, it's got a little banger. Yeah, it, yeah it, that's it, all he has, I'm assuming. Uh, so he probably taped that onto his thing when his mirror got knocked off. Man, I don't know. Those are pretty good, though. They really cover you. I've driven not in, as a primary use. That's I don't know. Crazy. I've driven in trucks that have them, man. They're, they, they, I know, just, but you also have to check your regular see, six. Like, that's like driving around looking through a people. Yeah, that's nuts. You see the future with those things. <laughs> it's like being you underwater. See like, you see like eight miles back. <laughs> Fucking things Every, are all right. Everything looks like a skate video. No, <laughs> and, that, and, that can't. That's a very unsafe and trashy to not have a regular. That doesn't pass inspection. Sure. I'll give you that. Yeah, that's, I would argue, highly dangerous. Yeah. Um, Buddy, get it fixed, or at least put some tinfoil on it. I know people that have the huge rear view mirrors. Yeah. That, it looks weird, but damn, man, you fucking. You got everything. Woo! Yeah. Um, you know what's going on in the streets with, the, <laughs> with <laughs> that thing. You can see around a corner with those bad boys cooking. <laughs> They're all right. Um, I We've rented some cars, some newer cars, like the SUVs that have the video mm -hmm. as the rear view mirror rather than the actual mirror, which throws me because I, I'm used to looking in the mirror and seeing T-Bone back there, and then I, you don't see anything. You just see the, the footage. I'm back there unsupervised. It oh, really yeah, fucks right. you up. I, I thought I was in an empty car. Oh, the camera's not there. No, they, of it's course the, they don't. No, the camera's on the back. Let's see what these punks are doing back there. Uh, you can't. You're flying blind. Somebody be coming up with a fucking piano wire behind you, and you don't know shit. Dude, nothing scarier as a kid than your dad hitting the rear view just to hit you. Oh, uh, turning at... To make that eye contact jam you up, like too sweet. Melt your eyebrows off. Because ah! you know what? In my in my family car, you know what followed that was a fucking in, inner thigh bite. He'd come around. Bite. And just, no, you know, oh, you know, oh, a, a pinch. pinch. Fucking come around. Hey, you doing? Ah! Fucking yeah. catch you right in the sensitive part of your chubby thigh. Ouch. And I jump up and cold his eyes. <laughs> Close up. <laughs> hey, hey, you want me to go? We all go. I play chess, not checkers over here. Your box his ears like Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play games, old man? <laughs> Give him vertigo real quick. I'll take the whole fucking bloodline off the map. Pull Let's a, go. Pull a Jason board real quick. That, choking your dad with a seatbelt? There was nothing. Hitting <laughs> 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 a magazine? <laughs> they have that. They have some uh, competition where you fight in the front seat. <laughs> that's good. It's, oh, I think I've seen that. Yeah, it's yeah. Russian MMA in a car. <laughs> oh, that's all right. They that's have that a in a phone time. booth, too. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Dude, that's and they can't time. fall because they just keep, the, like, the guy's just knocked out. Just fucking. There was nothing worse you could do. Then hit that light on the inside of the car when your parents were driving. Oh, night. yeah, yeah, yeah. They made course. it seem like the highway was going to blow up. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was bad. Look out. Hit that thing. You're dead. Cops will get you. Yeah. What are you fucking doing? I'm driving. Mm -hmm. Wild. Um, all right. Let's see. This one's from JB Henry. Longtime listener. Never had one read. You or anyone you know that has their litter box on carpet floor. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a cat guy, but that can't be good. I dude, cat. I don't know how you just do it. The snuggles are worth it, man. Yeah, it's my little guy. Depending on the cat, like, like, like we don't. Ours isn't in crazy radius away from us. Okay, and, and you can't. You don't notice it when you come into our apartment. You don't notice it when you're in the room that it's in. We do a good job of keeping it circulated, but every once in a while, man, you catch a fucking heater from her. That is like, it's not even, it almost makes dog poop smell good. <laughs> <laughs> that's how bad, that's how bad cat you're shit You're living is. with it. That's, and I understand it's you crazy. do a good job, but not, It's like ammonia-y. It, dude, it's nuts. Listen. You catch I one of those, you, it'll I'll, wake you up in the middle of the night like, what the fuck? That's, yeah, no, it's, I Sprink some bacon soda on that. I respect, I'll believe you, that you do a real good job taking care of it. You've been For in my, the record. You've been in my apartment Not before. In you, like never, five you never years. smelled cat. I, I can't recall, Your <laughs> Honor. But everybody slouches a little bit. This is also coming from a guy who had to chemically peel his floor when he got his new dog. Yeah. I know. Your dog shits in the dishwasher. What Not anymore. About? Not anymore. Your animal has to do it. Inside, yeah, she does it in her little thing. Yeah, little... that's in your. That's too much. That's too much. You think so? Mm -hmm. But and I know. Hold listen, on. The I technology in kitty litter over the last thirty years is tremendous. Okay. They're halfway to does Jupiter. Does it disintegrate it immediately? Because if it doesn't, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> it really covers. Turn it, it up. into soft pretzels or something. 
That's not a bad idea. Because then I'm listening. But you're nuts. But never on carpet. It's on hardwood, and then they have a little. She has a little, oh, a little mat right the in smell. front of it. And it's always like there's always little pebble. Like there's all litter always gets out of the thing from their feet or whatever. We don't have that. You we, step on it. If we mm. give her people food, which we rarely ever do, but if there's like a little piece of salmon or something like that, we will give it to her. Um, that usually fucks her up a little bit, and she'll drag her butt a little bit on the on the hardwood. And you see a little streak. I mean, I, I do love dog. I, I love animals, but they are, you know, you're just essentially living with somebody who shits in your apartment. In a litter box. It gets covered up by the litter. I shit in my apartment too, dog. Yeah, yeah you dude. flush it and it goes right down. In I don't seat. all the time. But you clean the litter box every day? Come on, what are we doing here? You don't, you don't even clean your... T- I've, I've shared bathrooms with you. There's your pee is all over the floor. I don't handle it. What? I don't handle the litter box situation. Okay. Yeah. She does a good job with it. Okay. Yeah. Now, the urine thing, the pee thing. Yeah, I would all just argue to say that the guy, you, hold the, on, the animal, the, 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 the species in the house that knows how to use the toilet doesn't do a good job with it. I doubt the cat's doing a great job with it. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I learned from you, man. <laughs> I thought we all peed on the floor. <laughs> and yes, I did ruin my hardwood floors, and I will be losing my security deposit. <laughs> I don't know what business of it is yours. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about DraftKings, baby. Oh, baby, the king of the draft. Let's talk about letting it ride. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? A- I'm an action Jackson when it comes to gambling. I'll tell you this. You may know that. The playoff picture's pretty much mapped out. Uh-huh. Road here to Super Bowl 57. Uh-huh. Why not get in a little action? Go, baby. You know what I mean? Spice it up a little bit. Yeah. That AFC divisional game. <laughs> <laughs> See what you're made of. Yeah, huh? it's a Thursday night game. You get paid tomorrow. <laughs> Haven't watched one Chiefs game all year. You're laying the mortgage Put payment the down. Fucking house yeah, on this Yeah, let's go. It's a good time. Here's a cool thing that they got going on over there. What's that? You do a five dollar bet. Okay. They give you two hundred dollars worth of free bets. Okay, I like that. That ain't bad. Instantly, it's you're sad. playing with house money. Uh-huh. What are we doing? Listen, I'm betting everything on the birds. Yeah, hey, laying it all on the birds this year. Plus, I got all new and existing co- all new and existing. Co- Customers get a no sweat bet each day of the wild card round this week. Just place any NFL bet of your choice, and if it loses, you'll get the you'll get a free bet back up to ten dollars. Action so good, why bet the NFL playoffs anywhere else, baby? I'll tell you what, I ain't. I'm not going to some Joe Schmo at the at the at the Elks Lodge to lay my bets. I'm going to a guaranteed. I know somebody who I know's got the cash, and that's DraftKings, baby. Download the DraftKings sportsbook app now and use promo code AYG. New customers get five dollars. Get New customers can bet $5 on the NFL and get 200 in free bets instantly only at DraftKings Sportsbook with promo code AYG. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See the show notes for details. Kip, how about them factor meals? Love that factor. Shout out to the turkey chili. Nothing like coming home and finding a box of factors Uh just sitting there. Now, the way they design it is to eat right. Exercise and move forward. Sure. You get two, three of those in the Yeah, don't be in two or three of them like the big man likes to do. I got to be honest with you. No joking around. (laughs) Signed up this morning. Yeah. I'm back on it, baby. They got 2023 is the year of the kip. That's what we're doing. I'm getting back. I'm getting back down to fighting weight. Gang, Can't fan- be two fat guys on the show. Fant- fant- <laughs> fantastic, fresh, never frozen meals. Mm-hmm. It's not like uh, the other way. You got to make the shit yourself. It's all done. It's done. You throw it in a microwave, throw it in a little pan Dude. with a little bit of olive oil or something. Two minutes in a microwave, a couple of holes. Yeah. And it's good, clean stuff, man. It's good time. It's fantastic. I, like, I've, I, if you know, I've been, a, I've, been a, I've been a factor guy for a long time. Big proponent T-Bone was on it for a long T-bone time. T-Bone was Lost on 28 it. pounds or something, that T-Bone. There you go. <laughs> Uh, with calorie smart and keto options, Factor Meals are perfectly portioned to keep you on track with your goals. They now offer 34 meals per week and over three dozen add-on options. Had to go. I did it this morning. Had to go factor 75com slash garbage60. I don't even need to look because I know it. Use code garbage60 to get 60% off your first box. That's code garbage60 at go.factor75.com slash garbage60 to get 60% off your first box. Do it. He's not pooping in the house anymore? Nah, never. Come on. I swear to God. I thought he I thought he peed in the car, pooped in the car or something like that. Nah, he threw up a couple, but he was still like a real puppy. Also, the car is in the house. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that was like eight months ago or something. Okay. Yeah, no, he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't gone to the bathroom in the house, and geez, like, I, I genuinely have no idea when. Okay. He knows better. Okay. I'm going to rough him up. Huh? Yeah. Get him in a headlock. All right. 
All right, this one's from Mark Sullivan. Ever stick a Bernie in your nose and take a backwards drag? Oh, dude. <laughs> That's a good time. Yikes. I always thought it was real <laughs> creepy. <laughs> That guy parties, dude. Yeah. Shout out to Mark. That's a guy who gets fired at the holiday party for his job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was that always. That guy doesn't have a job. I thought it was always weird, and I never really. I, I don't do it when it, when people have it come out of their nose. My dad was big on it. Jesus. That's when you're smoking. Uh-huh. That's an issue, man. <laughs> Just fucking like a fuck like raging bull. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming out, like, you know what I mean? That burns a different kind of burn. Yeah. Imagine going, nah, and that's an exit. Imagine taking that on the way. What are you, fucking Lucifer? I mean, that's, that's some shit Hellboy would do. That's a stunt, <laughs> right? That's got to be a no, stunt. No, dude. I, I, I remember the scene. No, I'm saying the nose. Of course. The nose. Of course. But seeing those old schoolers back in the day, he's like picturing something in the car, one's hanging yeah, out of his mouth. Take one out, yeah. <sighs> Blast that thing Just out. Just rolling cold, dude. God damn. The original vapors. Like a locomotive. The original blowing clouds, dude. <laughs> like the Polar Express coming down the track. Yeah, no. I'm a standard, uh, standard sure. smoke, exhale kind of guy. However. That was the French. The French. Oh, the French inhale would be out a little bit through the nose. I've done that. A little bit back. I thought back that was when, when first... you jerked off like that. Nah, that's the overhand. <laughs> Come on, what are we doing? AKA the turncoat. <laughs> La resistance. <laughs> Vive la France. That's for when you're interrogating yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like that, huh? You like that? That's just before the phone book comes out. Man. <laughs> Pick a letter. What? Start waterboarding. <laughs> Um, That's a good time. The fr the French inhale, right? You would let some out and then suck that through your nose. Correct, out the mouth, then, through the nose. Yeah. If a hot chick does that, that's one thing. Yeah. But you do it, you know. <laughs> Look at <like> bison. <laughs> I have an asthma attack right away. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a tough look. But um, that's just a fun time. What he's talking about? Yeah, that's, that's just a, that's, that's just a, being silly. That's a party, a party goof. Yeah, I'm all you're wearing that. a tuxedo t-shirt doing that. <laughs> you're killing. Yeah. You, you ever see the tough guy shot? What's that? It's where the you exhale. No, answer? it's a shot of tequila where you snort the salt, do the tequila, and then squirt the lime in your eye. Oh God. Who are you hanging out with? I know. What are the rest of the pirates doing? Yeah. That's crazy. I wonder why you quit drinking. You know, you don't got to. You can just have a cocktail like a gentleman. You don't got to do that shit. Did you ever chug a beer, then punch yourself in the dick? You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> nah, I'm good, dude. You know the carpenter? You stick a nail in your thigh, do a shot, then you call out of work, eat a ham sandwich. Jesus. What do you call it? The tough guy? It's the tough guy shot. I kind of, hey, need new friend shot. That's what that is. <laughs> Gentlemen, please leave. <laughs> That's the shot it is. <laughs> You're trying to get a, your picture up at a bar for the wrong reasons. <laughs> I'll have a butt heavy, a shot of Jameson, and some broken glass, please. <laughs> Do the Shutter Island shot real quick. <laughs> is there anyone in the back that can step on my balls, please? <laughs> I'm trying to get fucked up. Is it still happy hour? <laughs> Can someone put a cig out on my eye? Uh, all right. This one's from Chowder Stash. First time, long time. Ever have to pull over on the expressway because you think the Bernie you launched out the window got stuck in the back window and is burning a hole in the fine leather of your 2003 Mercury Sable? Man, talk about the panic button oh. when that shit happens. That's happened to me a couple of times before. I've got it in the crotch where it did that. Dude, when it goes down in the crotch and you, because when it goes down in the crotch, you inherit the movement to go get it pushes it further down. Then you get up thinking yeah. that's a good idea and it rolls down. You're and jammed up. The whole time you're pressing on the gas. Uh huh. Because you need leverage to get your ass off the seat. Dude, talk about Houston. We got a problem. That Man, shit that's freaks like me each out. Each decision leads to an exponentially worse result, dude. Plus, you're in panic mode. You're all over the road. You don't know you're, you're you're capable of anything. Yeah, you shove it further down, then you go to stand up. You go faster, and then it rolls back under you. God forbid you start feeling that heat on your testicles. Oh, That's man. tough. I, I, I remember sitting next to my dad, and all of a sudden that would happen. <laughs> I'd be reaching around. I'd be his eyes. I'd be his eyes on the ground. 
Oh, dude, I pull over immediately. And fucking deal with that. That's tough, dude. Uh, we got. I remember the first time we got caught. My brother, my buddy, got his license. We went out, drove in his mom's car. Like his mom's, like had like a Chevy Envoy or something. We took that out. Everybody's fucking smoking. I guess he it was just at this point we dropped everybody off, but it was just me and him. And he flicked it, and it went in the back, and then into the back seat. And he was like, "I think so." And I remember being like, "Nah, you're good. It's fine. What are the chances of that type thing?" And sure as shit, dude, it burned a hole like this big on the floor. <laughs> His mom was like, "You sons of bitches are smoking in my car." Did she smoke? Yeah. I'm like, "What are we uh, doing here, Tuts? Could have been you. Nah, but that was back in the in the dude. That like, dude, we 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 used to smoke at my mom's house. Like, I'd have like 50 people over, and everybody would just smoke cigs." And she'd be like down the shore. I would just like open the windows. Wouldn't and... notice when they got back. I feel like our sense of smell got more. I would say yours got worse. No, I would. I would say that you notice it now way more than you did. Like exactly what you're saying. Like you because could... not everybody's back in the day. Everybody was smoking everywhere. Restaurants and shit. Everybody I think was just like accustomed. Now you yeah, I now guess you so. can't even smoke in the middle of a goddamn empty field. You gotta be five thousand feet away from somebody. I mean, if you were in a restaurant, and somebody was That's smoking. Crazy. That's crazy. You, you, you would. You would. You would. Eat. What the fuck? I don't like smoking indoors Ugh. unless I'm real fucked up <laughs> and I'm the only guy doing it, <laughs> and it's illegal. I remember. What, I remember. Uh, wait, <laughs> it's time for Kibby to make a power play. Uh-huh. <laughs> Unless I'm about to close on a deal <laughs> of me getting thrown out of a bar. <laughs> Your move. <laughs> Picking yourself off the sidewalk, and that's how you don't pay for the bill. <laughs> now, who's got a light? <laughs> Broken cigarette. Um, I remember I remember waiting tables and smoking. Like being at the bar, somebody would come in and sit down. Oh, you do. <laughs> when this waiter comes back after a cig break, you're like, why don't you just give me my garlic bread and an ashtray? Especially <laughs> now in the winter? Get out of here with that. Oh, man. It's tough. You feel the cold on them? Ooh, that shit's no bueno. I know. And there, you always, the cig break, the quick cig break is always the worst. Because you're just steamrolling it, dude. You're not even getting any oxygen in there. That used to That's dr- all creamy, rich smoke. That used to drive me crazy back in the day when somebody would ask you for a, 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 a pull off your smoke and they'd fucking <laughs> steamroll it to get, hand you a torpedo back, the cherry on that thing. Hey, get along. You're like, what the fuck? Switched over to nuclear. <laughs> not to mention the fucking the, the tip, the hyperspeed the tip of it's soaking wet. You're like, what? The? And it's pinched down. Oh, it's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Fucking raw dog my heater and gave it back to me. <laughs> or deed my age. It's my wedding night, for Christ's sakes. What the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, that's tough. Um, this one's from Kevin, $10 shareholder. Is it garbage to ask for a Rogaine subscription as a birthday gift? <laughs> Hey, fellow bald Kevin, the bald Kevin, I respect it, my man. What's the what, what, what's the coinage on something like that? Uh, Don't they sell it in CVS now? You go in there and get it. Always, oh, oh, Rogaine. Do you always have to been... show your license when you get that? <laughs> no, it's not spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> I figure this what the government want to keep an eye I on. Think the kids aren't getting high on it. <laughs> Um, I just figured the government want to keep an eye on you, baldos. <laughs> Maybe make sure we're not all. Make sure we're not all banding together. You gotta start every neighborhood you move to. You gotta go around tell everybody. I am Kippy. I'm bald. <laughs> I'm your new neighbor. <laughs> Get the hell off my lawn. Pizza shit. Get the hell off my toupee. No, I don't think so. Subscriptions are nice. I uh, no, it's good. It's probably cheap now. It's probably like maybe fifteen bucks a month or something like that. Twenty eight ninety nine a month. With who? Rogan. Yeah, but no, that's you go uh, generic. They, their patent came out. <laughs> it seems like it's working good. <laughs> oh, t- Toby's fired. <laughs> hey, you might want to switch over to the real deal. <laughs> like an RC. I'm, I am on Rogan. <laughs> I'm like on the real stuff. RC Cola over here. <laughs> okay. can, I get, can I get a glass of Rogan? We got pro or whatever. <laughs> but yours is spelled R O U G H K. This kid's using ketchup. <laughs> Cats up. <coughs> I'm cutting me out of this whole thing. Man. <laughs> Having a good time, though. Um, all right, let's see here. Uh, this one's from Bridget. New to Patreon. Ever had a swing set made from scrap lumber instead of your parents getting one from a store? <laughs> oh, I mean, man. your dad would have to be pretty fucking handy to put something like that Did together. You have, but you're back there playing on broken down pallets. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. 
Ah, there's you're getting splinters on that thing for sure, dude. Swinging on an old toilet seat. Man, that's a tough look. That's bad. You'd have to be able to do it good. Or probably not. That's the thing, too. Yeah, scrap lumber is a tough look. Unless it's, do again, done very well, and I respect it. But chances are you're probably cutting a couple of corners. You got to be real good with your angles and stuff like that. Yeah, which, like, if you're half in the, like, you got to, you know, you, you got you to jimmy that stuff a lot. Uh -huh. You know, that's like, you don't all have the same, you know, it's like a two by four or four by six. But anything wood, as far as I'm concerned, anything wood is better than the metal that I had when I was a kid. We had the real cheap aluminum ones back in the come day. Come out of the ground and, and stuff. And then when I got a little bit older, I started seeing uh, kids whose parents had a little money. They'd get those fucking, those nice wooden ones that had like the, the yellow and blue and red top. Uh, yeah, they'd have like the little pirate's nest and yeah, the, the steering wheel or and something. And the monkey bars and stuff like that to slide. Ours was straight up two swings. And the, a lot of times they had like the sea salt, like the, the dual seater. The good ones? The, no, the bad ones. Yeah, the bad ones. The bad, like you had one dual seater, you had two regular swings, and I think some monkey bars, and that was it. There was no slide. Maybe there was a slide. Metal slide, maybe. But no slide with a little house on top. No. You were right up and over, uh -huh. and it was rough going down. I remember man. catching the inside of my Woo! thighs. No, on that, on the hinge, on the double thing. Oh, I thought you meant on the slide itself, on a hot oh, yeah. slide. Yeah, I don't fry some bacon. Sound. We had we had the our swing set was just the pipes that are like the A frame with yeah. the one going across. Yeah, but it wasn't stuck into the ground. Yeah, so it would always pop out. So it would, yeah, you'd go back and the whole front end would come <laughs> up. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, dude. that was just like nobody even said you didn't even tell your parents that would happen. It just happened. That was one good thing about my dad. He always over concreted. Ah, uh, loved a good bag of quickrete. Oh man, four or five bags of quickrete for one of those things. I, when I was home, I just noticed that. We have the, uh, we used to have a basketball pole. It's in your cribs that we did. I don't know if it ever made it, but I remember seeing it. It's, I brought Toby over. I go, he still has the, you still got the. They just cut it. They didn't dig it out. Yeah, you got the roots still in there. Dude, yeah. you would need, it's you like would, a bad tooth. Yeah, you would need like the Army Corps of Engineers to get that thing yeah. out of the ground. There's probably, it probably goes down to like seven sub-levels. <laughs> it's crazy. Pull it out, lava starts coming up. <laughs> Um, we, I, I think I, I don't know if I ever told you we, I tried to get one. My dad, I wanted that, that like that dark wood treated with the yellow, the blue, of the red. And we went to this place <laughs> up off street road somewhere. If I remember correctly, we put down a $200 down payment and I'm like, I'm fucking getting this. This is great. This hmm. is, I'm going to be the cool guy on the fucking block. And then. A week later, my dad never heard from him. We drove by a week later. You know, a week later, my dad called nothing. Another week, whatever. We finally drove by. They had gone out of business. Took the $200 deposit and skipped town. Adios, amigo. Yeah, we were fucking. I was so pissed. I'm like, let's go fatty. somewhere else. That was it. I was, Man, when I the, wasn't, he wasn't trusting another guy. When the swing set people are playing hardball. <laughs> I know. You got to be a cold-hearted son of a bitch. Steal a kid's good time. Yeah. I mean, get, in, get, in, get into like, uh, you know, a scam center or something like that. But yeah. when you're dealing with Calls or yeah. something. You're, well, you're wiping the smile off my face, buddy. That was my goddamn Christmas present. It was either that or braces. <laughs> Woo. You yeah. even get those second hand, they're still good. They go, they stay last. They go around a little bit. Yeah. Those things yeah, are all right. All, yeah, we never had anything. We had a we built a tree house in the back that my neighbor came and yelled at me for because it was technically on his property. I it fucking <laughs> You were using his power. <laughs> L and I came and shut down that job. So. <laughs> you had an AC in there. <laughs> yeah. Beware a dog sign up there. Keep him out. Yeah, I got jammed up. But he never had the. Did you guys ever have a zip line as a kid? Nah, Vinny with the skinny did. It's so funny you mentioned that. I would have never have thought about that when I. We tried to make a couple to no avail. We mm -hmm. we made some that ripped. Really? Yeah, we had a tree fort. We tied a rope from the top of the tree fort just to a tree, and then we had almost it was like a dog leash that we doubled up and then you'd clip it onto the rope. A couple of freaks. What do you what were you <laughs> we never had the material. What were you using? Regular uh uh what's it called? Rope? La no, laundry line rope? It was like climbing rope. Really? Yeah. And see, we just had that shit that where she hung the, hung the sheets in the We backyard. had a real cool dad in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, you need somebody like that. Well, so, I remember you could buy the... Vinny with the skinny had one where you'd have to climb up the back of his shed, get past the wasp nest, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Those things were coming out of the cinder blocks. <laughs> Yikes.
And it climbed to the top. We were raccoons six. coming at you. Dude, we were six or seven, maybe. It's crazy. Climb up the back of a shed, no ladder. Like you'd stand on like a wheelbarrow, then like a thing that's of bricks, and then like you get up there. My fat ass pulling myself up. You get up there, and then you're on his shed, and you would just fucking. He had a proper one. With yeah, like my, a cousin has, system, my, my cousin. My cousin has a proper and you go, one. Bzz. Man, I remember the first time I didn't realize how much upper body strength they took. I went, I went down like a sack of potatoes. When I did that kind of stuff when I was a kid, it made me realize that if I was ever hanging off of a helicopter, I would never make it. Yeah. I'd, I'd be like Robert De Niro in uh, The Deer Hunter. I'd fall down. I, I, I wouldn't. Gang, let's talk about ladder. Ooh, look at that ladder. You like screwing over your family? Sure. We all do. We're all dirtbags. But when it comes to term life insurance, you don't want to leave them a hold in the bag, as they say. Yeah. Putting the quarters over your eyes as you cross the river to the boat, man. One final <laughs> screw job to the, to, the, to the wife and kids. Don't do it. Take care of your financial affairs. Even if you ain't got a lot of money, you can still get up, up to three mil. Yeah, a little something. No needles, no doctors, no nothing. Do it all online. Sign mm-hmm. up. Get yourself covered, baby. Yeah, Ladder with Ladder made Forbes' best life insurance list in 2021. And it's really? easy to see why. No hidden fees. Cancel any time. Get a full refund if you cancel in the first 30 days. Life insurance gets more expensive as you age. So why... The, so the time to buy is now, N-O-W. I'm a- buy low, die high, baby. <laughs> That's what I always say. <laughs> die high. Go out all smoked up. Uh, go to la- Don't be doing that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L-A-D-D-R, life.com slash garbage, ladderlife.com slash garbage. Don't get high. <laughs> and now back to the show. That was a big thing when I when I – I've put all the weight back on or the most of it. But when I first lost the weight, I wanted, when I was like, I'm in shape. I'm like, I just wanted like apocalypse style skills. Like I wanted to be able to do one pull up. I made myself always be able to do one pull up in case I was ever hanging from a helicopter or a, or <laughs> a ledge, a, a cliff. I'd I'm be able to get about. myself back up that and I can run a mile flat out with, without stopping. <laughs> Outrun your fat ass. Don't let the zombies or the wolves get you. I'm out. That and learn how to use a crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> Always keep the blade on you, too. But that was my big thing. I was like, I just want to be able to do these because I could never do them as a kid. So I'm like, I just wanted to be able to do these things. Who would, of the three of us, who would survive the longest in an apocalypse? I would for sure. What are we talking about? What kind of apocalypse? Attack of the Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> about to paint my masterpiece. What do you mean? Uh, I'm okay. Let's let, let let's say if a nuke went off in the in the distant area and it shut the grid down. Mad Max. We'll say Mad Max post nuclear fallout. Oh, this is the bonus we're doing this this week. By the way, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, love it. What? How to survive an apocalypse? I mean, in my heart, nobody's surviving. Not that long. I think you grossly underestimate my outdoorsiness. Do you have a Do you have a bug out bag? Yes, included with my albuterol inhaler and my nebulizer in case I need a treatment. <laughs> in case there's cats at this apocalypse. <laughs> What's the dander sitch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't go three days without my heartburn medicine. Well, and you can also feed a whole village. So. <laughs> yeah. Either way, I'll be miserable. Nobody's eating each other. That, that's, that, I don't think that's a viable solution. There's plenty of deer running around. We already talked about that. <laughs> right, right, fellas? Right? No one wants to. No. No one's each other. I wouldn't be any good. I'll start throwing seasoning on you. <laughs> Salt bay you. Gold leaf around me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. This is the fattest guy in the village after the apocalypse going, I mean, come on, come on. We're not going to eat people. Are A we? lot of studies <laughs> show. As high in cholesterol as I am. What are you, crazy? I'm going to be like De Niro. If it was me, I'd be like De Niro at the end of the casino. Nah, keep going. Further down, further down, further down. I'll whack you off real quick. Thanks to, you know, I'm in an air fryer. <laughs> no thanks. Um, I mean, I have my, depending on the situation, I have my, my out and my route and where I would go and mm-hmm. what I would do and stuff like that. Well, who's going to tie your shoes for you? <laughs> <laughs> You better hope those zombies are nice, okay? <laughs> hey, buddy, can you find my shoehorn for me? <laughs> Give me a five-minute head start. No facies, all right? You do have the biggest shoehorn I've ever seen a man own. Oh, no, man. I have a bigger one at my mom's. <laughs> what, you're not allowed to have it in New York? <laughs> 
can't bring it through the tunnel. It's illegal. I don't have the papers for it. It was my grandfather, so, you know, it just kind of stayed in the family. Old Blue. Ooh. That's a long gun you got it's there. A, dude, it's made of iron or something, too, because the other ones, they all bend. This one, man. Made out of railroad spikes, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you. You're going to need that when the zombies come, dude. <laughs> you just start putting ah, that through their brain stems. That'd be pretty sweet if that was my weapon, my shoehorn. That's you can jack the house up with this thing, I'm telling you. It's legit. Yeah, the one that you guys saw at the airport. Remember I was worried about bringing it on the plane? Which I can't believe they let me. I tear through that thing like John Wick with that thing in my hand. <laughs> they could let you, dude. You could bring a bazooka on the plane, and you're not getting anything done, all right? Yeah, your weapon's on a plane or a shoehorn in a seat building center. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. I have a very specific set of sills. Now, someone help me out of my seat, please. Because the federal government's that I said I'm too fat to fly. Uh, my overhead bag, please. I would have saved everyone on that plane if they had sat me in an aisle. <laughs> Can't get out. Right in the middle of this movie, though. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. Ah, oh, man. The shoehorn in this, and, and this, it's perfect for... All right. We'll need talk about it more in the old Patreon. Need area. a shield, too. Um, That's a great one. That's a great theme that we've never done. That's fun. It's all right. How to survive an apocalypse. I like it. Uh, all right, let's see here. Uh, this is from Dave from Minnesota. New home, he never had one right. Has anyone convinced you... A bed sheet would work as a parachute and got you to jump off of something. Umbrella. Really? Yeah. Doesn't work. No. Nah. <laughs> Doesn't work. No, it's tough. I, I remember doing I remember being that age and doing that math as a kid of like, well, it should be able to slunk off my roof because we could get onto the one part of my roof through my sister's like we get on the roof of my garage through my sister's It's bedroom. another thing. If you had the strength, like if I had the strength to hold on to the umbrella and it stayed structurally intact. Which, the weight I was at the time when I did it, it should have. No. Uh-uh. It would have worked. I don't worked. know anything about physics. You let it go. You can't hold on to it. It pulls you You don't have you enough up. time to, you don't know, you don't have, it doesn't have enough time to slow you down. You don't think? An umbrella? No. This was a second. parachute even. This was second floor of. <laughs> no, so no. I would no? argue, yeah, no. You're moving too, on our you're deck. moving too quick, too fast for uh, anything to slow you down. Hmm. It's, it's got to slow you down in, you know, 12 feet. That's impossible. Hmm. Uh, Eric Rohner, RIP, uh, the skydiver with the Nitro Circus, Travis Pastrana's crew. Mm-hmm. He, did a, he did an umbrella skydive. An umbrella. But it was like custom. Sure. Yeah. It was like a parachute. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did he jump out of a plane or out of his uh, bathroom window? Uh, out of a plane. <laughs> oh, okay. Did he hang on to it? Well, y- yeah. Probably for a little while. To his hand. I think he made it all the way down on it. Just holding it? I believe so, yes. Get the fuck out of here. You would have to have so much hand strength to hold on to that. Like that. Lot. I don't know. That's wild. I remember, I remember saying And I'm sure he had another parachute on him just in case. Oh, of course. Sure. Oh, I mean, oh, he's, not, he's not a real skydiver like you, folks. It, 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 uh, <laughs> he doesn't live on the edge. This guy's a real pussy. Fucking right? poser. <laughs> it worked for a little bit and then it broke. You grab one of your mom's $5 umbrellas and jump off the back deck. I'll show you what it's like. <laughs> You want to be a real one, huh? Yeah. You want, no two, broken, you want two broken feet? A sheet? No, because I could never figure out how to get it where it would work. Yeah, none of it worked. You need more space. It's it's the space yeah. that you would need. I, I think my, and let alone a better parachute system. My brother or one of my, no, one of my older cousins told me that uh, if, I put a t- if, I, if I did it like a cape, I could... I could yeah, that's how, that's, how everybody gets a, that's how everybody gets jammed up. That's how I got. I was playing Superman off my couch and yeah, did they, a header onto the coffee table. They just pushed me down the steps. Yeah, they told me that I'd be able to fly. I could fly down the steps. They just pushed me down and laughed at me. Still got these kids' numbers. <laughs> they sound all right. <laughs> a couple of guys I could hang with. Shout out oh. to Flo and the Duck and the boys. Uh, it's oh. good stuff. All right, uh, this is from Jameson. Uh, ever been in a pinch and had to use chapstick on your hands because you didn't have lotion available? God damn. Smelling like strawberries? <laughs> but my shit's all fucked up here. I gotta, I've done I gotta, it all. I gotta Dude, do I'll, something. I'll, do I'll use it on my face. It's really? It's just moisturizer. It's just good moisturizer at the end of the day. Huh. Not it's really. Good. It seals it in. Yeah, that's good. It seals in the moisture. Hmm. Well, what do you want? Like a, what do you want, Everest? Like searing a steak, you know what I mean? <laughs> 
No, I'm just saying if I'm jammed up or whatever, and I'm like, I have like visibly, dry, like in the winter, if it's like visibly dry. Don't skin, use Carmax. I don't fucking. Uh, no, you do. Uh... <laughs> You're doing a love scene. <laughs> Balling your eyes out. <laughs> you do. Uh... Yeah, just it just takes it takes the edge off. You know what I mean? It just moisturizes in the in the moment. I feel like we might have talked about this recently somewhere. It could have been in private, but we were talking about chapstick, and I said the worst was Blistex. When your lips were real jammed up, I remember Blistex being all right, mate. It was real. It, it was more liquidy. It was wasn't that like the squeeze tube. Yes, it would come out like a it would come out like a dog was pooping. Yes. Yeah. But it was loose. It wasn't to protect your lips. It was to it was to fucking burn the shit out of it when they were chapped. It was that was that was it, the medical reason for that, it. Well, it was, it, it was to treat it. It was sure. it's when you had it was severe medicated. It's when you had severe chapped lips, mm-hmm. and you could rub. You'd rub it in, and you would rub off the extra pieces of dead skin, mm-hmm. so it st- would start to heal. That's how we did it. Fucking brutal. Yeah, burn the shit out of you. That in the Hall's cough drop when you were a kid. <sighs> Might as well be bear spray. <laughs> Fucking sucked. I love the good holes. I got in a halls early. As a kid? Yeah, my sister was taking them. She was like six. She was like 13 or 14. I was probably about seven. Got my hands on one of them. Never looked back. Opened you up real quick. Talk about mainlining. (sighs) Dude, that and then a fucking high C juice box. Woo-wee. It's like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah. That little bastard. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, I didn't fuck with him. I was a Luden's kid. I, I was just somewhere... Uh, I was down at home, and the kids were all running around, had Ludens, talking about Ludens. Hey, where does Ludens at? I said, yeah, why don't you show Uncle Kevin where the Ludens at? You know, at? it wasn't bad. <clears throat> they kicked it off with the original cherry. Then they dropped lo- a lemon. But then they got into the, it was like honey something. I think it was honey lemon. <sighs> Man, those things were delish. Have that for lunch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that, that and a cup of soup, you're all right. <laughs> Get my head on straight. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see here. This is from Brian. Is it garbage to bring your leftover pizza to work for lunch in the box it was delivered in? <laughs> <laughs> Man, what's this office space? Uh, that's Talk about tough, not giving dude. a fuck. That's bad. I like it. You got to rearrange stuff in the fridge to get it in there. Yeah, for two <laughs> slices. Yeah, that's bad. Nah, tin foil, a bag or something. I tell you what, this kid sounds all right though. Yeah. Fucking he plays re- by, his, by his own rules. Real for fucking sure. cowboy. Uh huh. That's pretty good. Oh, That's man. the dude that takes if they, if they have food at the office for something like bagels or sandwiches, take stuff home. He's taking that shit home with him. Yeah, I never like sure. doing that. I'm like carrying stuff. Mm, I'm just a huge hoagie tray guy. The idea of it, it's intoxicating. <laughs> just having all those hoagies. <laughs> you mean I can have all it's these hoagies? Nuts. I get I get crazy around a hoagie tray, more so than anything. Really? That's your kryptonite. One hundred percent. Is and a hoagie tray. I get crazy around that, and for some reason, I have this. We, I didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't do it. Partially because the expiration date was real close. But uh, around the holidays, we always had those pinwheels. So they're like wraps. To get them at Costco, they're wraps, and yeah. they have like turkey and, and like, like cream cheese, cheese and in a them. tomato or something in there. Too. Tomato and cranberry for something, some reason. Yeah. And I'm not a fan of that shit. Neither, dude, I, re- I really never liked them anyway, but I would always find myself eating a hundred of them, and I would like, I loved them. Sure. It was weird. Um, I almost, I'm, I'm infatuated with them, because I almost got it when we were at Costco last, but the expiration date was like the day before, and they get real wet around the side when they start to go. Oh, they sweat. Yeah. It's <sighs> tough luck. How far after the expiration date will you fellas push it? I won't even, even if it's like a day before, I, I won't fuck with it. If it's even close, I'm out. Milk a few days if it doesn't smell. You can tell when milk sell, It depends how jammed up I am. If it's sell by or use by. Sell by, I'll give you two, three days. I'll do it. I'll do two, three days. Yeah. Yeah. But usually I don't, I don't get, I don't fuck with it at all. Well, that's what I always hate. Growing up as a kid, you would get the lunch meat. The date on that would be the, it would, it would be in the sell by or use by box. Like all, you know how like the, like on the sticker. You would go Where? to like Where a supermarket, this? yeah, and you get like sliced meat. The sticker. You have the guys doing that. It gets I, printed out fresh. I know. Let me finish. It says that date where the the number. It was the date it was cut. Yeah, but it would always fall on the used by or like sell by date. You see what I'm saying? No. There was a template on those stickers. Yes. Size, description, weight, used by date, and it right. was used by date. Yes. But it was the date on what you got it sliced. 
Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I no, can't... ours was always a, like a week away. It would compute it. No, ours was always the day of. Why would it say use by the day of? That's, just, that's, that's why I brought it up. So you had no idea what the hell was going on. No, well, you know what day you bought it. I think ours said use they, by like September 7th. They, they, they put a, they marked it out. I yeah. mean, ours still do it. I looked at it the other day. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which makes me think that's like a, a more uh, of a That's the case. Thing. I owe my mom an apology. Why? Because every time I'm home, I'm going to fucking scream it at her. What the fuck is this? No, yeah, that's why fucking, I... Fucking Swiss cheese is still in here. That's why. Jesus Christ, I didn't do it. And shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, no, that's the, the day fuck? they bought it. Oh. That, that's how I figure. I'm like, Mom, what the fuck? You got a whole pound of turkey in here. You didn't even fucking touch it. She goes, I bought that yesterday. I said, I thought it wasn't used by... Now that. you're lying to me? Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Man. I don't know about that. I'm telling you, dude. I posted about it, but I found a bottle of hot sauce at my parents' place that yeah. went out in 2018. I mean, that's just crazy. Dude, because that stuff's like, that's what you need in an apocalypse. That'll last. We, that's pulled, got a, that's got we pulled a thing of red wine vinegar out of the back of a cabinet when we were moving. Just that, red wine? <laughs> <laughs> Chianti? No, dude, it had that thing in there. That uh, That's the uh, fucking. Worm? Dude, it had the worm in there. Yikes. Uh. It's. I think it's. I think it's what they kind of use to make kombucha, some kind of bacteria pod forms or something. Oh yeah. I think it was looking at me. I fucking yeah, that like, shit it's got. Like a, it's like a thing of Jello or that something. That thing got thrown right the fuck out. Yeah, but no. And uh, I don't know this us. about the lunch. Meeting. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, the the sticker has used by on it. Because you want to get me fired up. But it's the day they slice it. It's that day they buy it. That's because I kept going. Yeah, you're buying you. You're buying old shit, Tuts. What are you doing here? I guess that makes sense because how would they have the technology back then to forecast? To forecast whatever on that one machine that, but the maybe technology. it's a computer. What? It was a computer, kind so, of. Dude, that it's print, a scale. But the scale had computer parts inside of it. It was digital, so maybe it knew. It did. It. I'm telling oh, you. Fuck. I'm I feel real you, bad. Man. I do just over the holidays. It's the day every they time slice I went, it on. I was home like four or five times. Every time I, what are you doing? Get rid of this. This is bad. I did it. That's good. Da, da, da. And then I come home the next time because you want to piss me off. Let me open up that deli drawer and think I got a a, a nice half a pound of fucking turkey in there, mm -hmm. and then think that I can't have it. Yeah, it's a good thing she has a little cracker barrel cheeses in there. Otherwise, I would have keep, lost your, it. keep your head on straight. A couple of pepperonis. I rolled the dice on some old pork roll, but I figured that's got to be, you know, it was, it was a little foggy, but I said, you know what? If I get it hot enough. <laughs> the eyes were a little glassy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like fresh fish. Oh, man. <laughs> you can't yes. trust anything at those houses anymore. <laughs> I caught her with chicken hot dogs the other day. Chicken hot dogs? Chicken hot dogs. And the way I noticed that something was up is they weren't all the same color. One was a little darker. Like Christmas pack. <laughs> <laughs> Holiday pack. Somebody passed me a green diesel. One was a, one was a little bit discolored. Like it was like, you know, like micro made or something like that. I was like, what the fuck is this? Check it out. Give me that shit out. Yeah. Had a couple. I had a taste. It's it's the tires on it. She's keeping the bread in the fridge, too. Because they don't eat it quick enough. That's weird, though, man. You don't. You don't know what you're dealing with. I know. You really don't. You don't know what you're dealing I with. I made two pork roll egg and cheeses on hamburger buns that I think were from July Fourth. <laughs> <laughs> this was yesterday. I was, dude. They they didn't have mold on them, but they were, you know. They smelled like fireworks. Yeah, these things. These. These things smoke. were pre-Labor Day. I know that. <laughs> Smelled like fireworks. You find a ladybug in there, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. They had a summer savings sticker on them. <laughs> um, she, uh, fuck, what was I going to say? Well, with the eggs. The eggs now, she gets them from some lady. No, I don't trust that. And, she, and, and the lady's telling her that they're good for three months. No. They're regular out-of-the-chicken eggs. So she, now she's marking the date on them. Yeah, it's like Jurassic World in there. <laughs> and Arm zzz, zzz, picks it up. And I'm like, zzz, zzz. Dude, I tried to make breakfast here. I'm like, what the fuck is this, Patty? A dino pops yeah, out. Oh, you BD Wong? What are you doing here? What is that BD Wong? Yeah. Man, that, that guy's a pure scientist. Woo wee. Uh, Working. Shout out to him. That's funny. Um, Crazy. Yeah, but correct me if I'm wrong. In the yeah, I would I, love to know. I hold on. I, I get to the house now. It's like, is, is there some pretzels or something? 
I'm not going into anything. I know. It's tough. Wild. It's tough. Plus, half the shit's the dog. You start matching down on some green beans and a little bit of ground beef, and next thing you say, oh, that's you for the dog. <laughs> Your coat's shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Dude, she's not wrong. Fresh eggs, like, from straight from the chicken, three months in the refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's big this egg. This woman's probably buying them at a goddamn Wawa <laughs> and pawning them off as her own. Yeah, are you nuts? I wouldn't... Tr- nothing lasts for three months. That's crazy. I don't care. What, so yeah, the, the lady that has chicken shit on her shoulder <laughs> selling that she's to my mom. covered in feathers. Yeah, you know, she's got like... She's old and gray. has a short haircut. No. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's tough. No, they're fine. We do it all the time. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with me. <laughs> her eyes are rolling back in her head. Fucking like dead baby in the car. Get out of here. Mm-mm. Yeah, my mom. Get that shit a week. The dude. eggs at my mom, she jams me up because she takes them out and puts them in the holder. Like she's got like, so you don't hear. I'm like, I, I'm like, I just had because I'm real, I'm real OCD anal about that shit. I don't like rolling the dice, but there you just got to do it, dude. Half the time I'm cracking it, I think I'm just expecting a feather to pop out or something, a beak. Fuck are you doing? <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne. I'm sleeping in here, dickhead. Yeah, you got. You just never, you never know. Mm-mm. Never know, yeah. dude. And like, it was, I was. I looking. told her she got to load up on frozen. Get frozen stuff. I know what I'm dealing with when I come down for you, <laughs> selfish bastard. <laughs> Not her. Uh, you can really eat whatever you want. But just make sure you have frozen fucking appetite. The only thing that's good now is she eats out a lot. Mm-hmm. So you get home. Uh, Me too. A little, a little chicken cacciatore somewhere in the back of that thing. Yeah. Not bad. Shrimp scampi. That's what Denise, Denise likes a scamp. Ooh, shrimp scampi, ice cold the next day. Uh-huh. No problem with it. It's all okay. right. I'll even do the linguine cold. Um, all right, let's see here. Speaking of, this is from Kyle. Is it garbage to use your enclosed patio space in the winter as a refrigerator since there is no garage fridge? Note, this winter has been spotty with the daily temperatures. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the fritz. It's tough. It's about 50 today in New York, <laughs> man. Those eggs ain't holding. I don't care if you're Patty, if you're Denise. Those are bad eggs. <laughs> you got to cook that tilapia tonight. <laughs> yeah, that. buddy. What nah. are the specials tonight, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're losing shelf space with these things. Whip something up with that. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you on it's that. Tough, man. If you live in, like, Wisconsin or something you like that. You get a deep freeze going. Yeah, I could see that. But I don't even like she, uh, Patty puts the water bottles out there in the sunroom. She leaves them out there. It's cold in the winter. It's good. But the sunlight's going directly into them. You pick one of those things up, they're glowing. Yeah, it's weird. You know, those, those, micro- those protons in there. Yeah, dude. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, that's tough. I mean, we do it, we do it with the, you know, we did it on Christmas. We had that. It was freezing at Christmas. I went and got beers, just kept them right out my in the cousin, garage. Oh, my cousins did just that too, man. Out, bada bing, bada ice cold boom. IPA. Screamers. Not a drop of ice. No, just no. sitting out there. Do we just have them in the twelve packs or the sixers, or whatever? Mm-hmm. Just say there you go, grab another one. Yeah, um, that was all right. That I get that. That was sodas is okay if it's in a garage and it's not, you know, the sun's not baking on it, whatever. But yeah, you gotta, you can't be leaving like raw meat and shit out there. No, it ain't, it that, ain't that cold. No, you gotta do that shit in Alaska. There's yeah. a guy on Instagram that does that. He has all the shit outside and he goes out and he cuts it up and eats like slivers of frozen fish. What? It looks pretty good. In Alaska? Yeah. I got like a bunny a couple of dogs. Alaska. It's wonky. Really? Yeah. When, when you think of Alaska, do you immediately picture a guy in a canoe with an eagle flying overhead? No, I think drunk guy covered in snow. That's what I... I go to like... I go to like Anchorage type stuff. The Hookie Lau or whatever. Or Choo Choo Charlie's. There's a famous uh, comedy club up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuckoo Choo 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 Charlie's or something. Where you got to take your underwear off to perform it's something wild. Cannon was just up there. Could you say a drug guy with what? <laughs> Covered in snow or something in a snowbank. Chilkoot Charlie's. Chilkoot Charlie's, yeah. <laughs> we should go. Uh, I'm down. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't know those planes that get up there. Oh, yeah, fuck that. I couldn't. You got you to... You see the guy spin the propeller <laughs> before you back out? Fuck of that. Unless they got a movie screen on the back of the seat. I ain't going. I know. That shit's I don't strange. like that. He's, he's saying stuff like, oh, he's got to ease her in. <laughs> Man. Spend a month in the wilderness with him. 
no, 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 thank you. Especially if he doesn't have any gin left. <laughs> starts losing it. You can't be a passenger in a plane that has a nickname. Like, old Lucy's never done me <laughs> yeah, wrong. Yeah. Banging on the... <laughs> That or a, or a, or a captain or you gotta... who gets out and walks to the back and comes up and hands you a parachute <laughs> and says, <laughs> hold until my go. I don't want to be in anything that would have to stop for gas either. <laughs> well, we got to fly by acreage and pick up some fuel. What the fuck? Yeah. What are we doing? Um, We've got to wrap her up here, gang. Ah, what a fun one. Yep. It was a hooting at <laughs> up there at Chuku Charlie's. <laughs> Gang, tickets are still available for the for our show in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Two salmon to get in. Um, one salmon with the promo code. Uh, tickets are still available at Gramercy Theater, February third, seven o'clock. Maybe show. that's going. They're oh, low. Shit. That's right. under a hundo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, could, right. that, could, that could be gone. Fuck me. I was trying to do a little business. I know. I'm, I'm just letting them know there's urgency out there. Get Fair cooking. Enough. Get them going, baby. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace.